Good morning. This is Mark Thompson again from Gord Works, and we're now in uh, the fourth in a series of a quick uh, history of gourds. Today we're going to focus on ancient Native Americans. I've done a book, as you see the title here, it's available on Etsy, and I hope you uh, can take advantage of it. Uh, the earliest Native American cultures have been uh, typified by these headings. Uh, mostly uh, the findings about gourds go back to the Woodlands era and uh, out in the Southwest uh, in later periods. You can go back in time to look through these slides because there's a lot to be seen. But this slide shows you the extent of uh, research that's been done already on sites around the U.S. to look at the living lifestyles, cultures, and dig up the artifacts from these different cultures. Uh, Dr. Bruce Smith from the Smithsonian is one of the key researchers on gourds in ancient cultures, and he's written a lot about it. Uh, these are some of the sites where you can actually go or read about. There are very specific uh, archaeological digs and researchers have cataloged a lot of their findings. Uh, there's books you can go to, like this Fetter book, and it will tell you about uh, the site, what you're going to see there, the cultures, and if you're in these states or you're nearby, take advantage of them. They're American national resource. Uh, we even still have some wild gourd locations in the U.S., believe it or not. These came over thousands of years, but these yellow spots on this map indicate roughly where later Native Americans came and then domesticated the gourds for their use. These are large population centers uh, during the Native American uh, early times. Um, the gourds have been useful and therefore grown a lot for food, health remedies, uh, certainly as the containers for many things, and they were used as instruments like rattles for many uh, Native American ceremonies. Uh, one of these items is bowls. This is the kind of stuff that they're looked for in the ancient times, and then currently some of these are preserved in museums. Others are still being made by tribes around the U.S. The calabash is another word for gourd. It's a roundish gourd, and it's much more available uh, outside of North America. A tableware, utensils of all kinds. This is a contemporary set that just gives you an idea of the different uses that uh, the small to large gourds can, can be used. Uh, here's an old one water ladle. You see how simple these gourds are. They grow and just with one cut they're made simple to use. Uh, birdhouses, yes, there's a lot being sold on Etsy, birdhouses. But way back when, uh, the purple martin, known for its uh, voracious appetite for mosquitoes, was used, hung by the Native Americans to reduce that pest. Uh, I mentioned the musical instruments. Here's some examples. The artwork on some of these are quite beautiful. And then we have percussive instruments, drums, and this uh, instrument, which is with a metal rod, can be scraped and make a percussive sound. Uh, there's still a couple groups around that play music as an ensemble with only gourds, and one of them is this Richmond Indigenous Gourd Orchestra. They're a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoy some of the other segments as well. Goodbye.